Hello, today we're going to be looking at the map component of SQL Server 2008 R2. I have bids open and I have started a reporting services project. But the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Management Studio and take a look at a query that I created against the AdventureWorks DW 2008 R2 sample database. If you don't already have this sample database, it is available on CodePlex at sqlserversamples.codeplex.com. For this particular query, we want to look at reseller sales and number of sales orders by state province name or United States. So this particular database contains a fact reseller sales table as well as a reseller dimension, a geography dimension, and a date dimension. And so in this particular query, we see that we're grouping by state province name as well as sales order number because the fact reseller sales table contains line items for all sales orders. And so we want to roll that up for one sales order number, one row per sales order number by state province. And what you can see down here is for Alabama, you can see the sales number and the amount of that order because we want to take a look at this geographically with the new map control. So if I go back to bids, first thing I need to do is create a new data source. We're just going to call that data source one and use Microsoft SQL Server. Type in localhost and I actually have an instance called SQL 2008. I'm going to pick my adventure works. DW 2008 R2 database, text the connection, everything looks good, and say OK. I'm now going to add a new report, which launches the report wizard. Choose the data source that I just set up, and then go back to Management Studio, grab my query, paste that in and say next. Um, the tabular report type is fine for now. We're not actually going to use that. We're going to delete it and add a map control. So I'm not going to add any available fields. And then the slate style is just fine. And click finish and I'm going to call this map sample. 